I'm just curious. Um, he's a Louisiana Tech grad, right? Yes. Okay. Um, civil engineering or electrical engineering? He has two degrees. Oh, he has two degrees? Two degrees. Well, I'm just saying, um, what we need the guy up here for me to ask. I mean, has he worked with Marcotte ever? I can't Has he worked that. with Marcotte ever? I can't say that. Because that would be a conflict of interest. Mr. White, he's going to... Well, that's get, why I need to ask quick. Yeah. See, Mayor, okay. you're shaking the head, so you're telling them what to do. No. And that's the wrong thing. Now, see, if you had let us ask questions yesterday, we wouldn't have all of this stuff. But you, you said, oh, yeah, at the end of the meeting, Mr. White, you can ask whatever question you want to ask. So, that. yes, you did. Mm -hmm. You can go back and get the tape. Mr. 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 White, Mr. White, I'm going to give you this here. This is, uh, this is a copy of his resume. Well, it's a mighty late now. I think it's wrong, so I've made my statement. Mr. McCall? No, he's a Louisiana Tech grad. Mr. McCall? Comment, Mr. White? Yes, sir. Well, I'm going to kind of give a, a little bit of a story of mine. I was raped as a child and stuff, whether a preacher, teacher, or another other. You know, parents and stuff, when you live with something like that and the racism that I faced, I was the first African-American elected sophomore class president at Alexandria Senior High. To me, that's the best high school in the whole state, if not the country. But because of a federal judge, he said, there's too many blacks there, so we're going to send y'all all out to all the other high schools and everything like that. Well, I went to Bolton. And if it wasn't for uh, Knapp Johnson's wife, and uh, I can't think of who the assistant principal was over there, but those two people really helped me out. Eventually, I got back to Ash. But um, I couldn't be... Um, president anymore. Like I said, I was I was probably the first African American el elected at a predominantly white school. So you know, uh, my speech capabilities were pretty good too, and it was good to have that guy from Peabody in here to speak. But you know, a lot of police officers, firefighters, just like I said, they go through some traumatic stuff. You see our war heroes with PTSD and stuff. And just like I was saying earlier about those four officers that got um, murdered in Charlotte, Mecklenburg, you know, and you, you just don't know. Like, Jay, Jay Jeremy Carruth was working for me as a confidential informant. They call them CIs. And he was trying to uncover some racism around here. We used to get calls in the house, nigga, we're going to hang you in your little damn family too if you keep on pressing the issue. So I told him I was going to keep on pressing the issue until I find out who's all involved. Now, Mayor, when you came on board, you changed everything from the previous mayor where everybody could speak whenever they wanted to. You didn't have to ask to speak. And just like in Pineville, you know, they can speak after each turn, and then after the end of your agenda, you could speak on any issue you wanted to. Now, I know you did this when I came aboard, because I was the one speaking out about those poor vets over there getting killed at the Alexandria VA. Nobody cares about those nine vets that died under Dr. Nagy, but I did. As a matter of fact, President Obama wrote me back. So I've had letters from different presidents, President Bush, Obama. My dad got a letter from President Trump. So something ought to tell you about me. I had a top secret clearance just like you have. But the military police corps is totally different. You know, and um, it just seems like a lot of people just don't care when you're black. But when you're white, everything's right. And I'm sick and tired of it. Now, I gave some information to... Uh, Jack over there, because Kaylee X and Kaylee B, you don't even see him here. I call them Kaylee Laxative, Kaylee X, and Kaylee B. So um, I wonder if y'all told them not to be here and not cover this, Thank because you. something's wrong. Yeah, I know. I'm out Thank of time, but not out of message.